Hey survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. So just to get you quickly up to speed, um, I slept for the night after last episode, and I unfortunately contracted parasites, so I went ahead and used a uh, antibiotic. I had three of them, I think I have two left now, and uh, drank a little bit of water, ate a little bit of food, took three of the herbal things. I had actually all of the uh, resist things on me, so that'll be nice. The antibiotics typically weaken you your immune system afterwards, which makes you more vulnerable to getting sick again. So having all those herbal um, resist things is nice. Um, I had to use the teleport thing again to teleport outside of Andrew Station because going outside through the door once again crashed me for whatever reason. Not sure why it's happening, but it's just that particular door is having issues for me. So anyway, um, I teleported out here, and unfortunately, I teleported right in front of a hostile survivor, so... Looks like we're going to be doing some combat first thing in the morning here. You have a pretty interesting baseball bat there. It's pretty nice. Oh my god, you had a fusion grenade? Well, uh, thanks for that. Glad you didn't get a chance to throw that. It's a nice baseball bat. It's like all heated and stuff. It's pretty cool. I kind of want to see what this laser fire is over here. I heard this last night, too. And I want to see what's going on. Who's got a nice laser rifle over here? It might just be a robot, but it doesn't... It doesn't sound like a robot uh, laser fire. Like, they have a distinctive... Their laser fire has a distinctive sound... Oh, it's a Mr. Gutsy. Pulse grenades do extra damage against robots. That might be kind of good. Where the hell is he? Are you playing games with me, goddammit? Gotta be up there next to the other guy. Unless he's down below. That's a really tough guardian. They've got to be... Got to be both up in there. It's a bit of a Hail Mary, but... Intruder. Identify yourself. Didn't hit him. Oh boy, that's both legs! Oh my god! All right, all right, that was a bad idea. Not my first bad idea, certainly won't be my last, you know. Also sucks outside today. I don't think they'll follow me too far, which is good. Let me grab some water here. bit more food, too. Okay, that should do. If they, like, came out... I could fight them a lot better. I don't know if they will, though. Um, typically those guys like to stick... Yeah, they typically like to stay in there 
area. Oh yeah, I gotta get a fusion core too. I'm almost out in my core. There should be a core in the power armor we're gonna find today, most likely. But, um, I still... I don't know if I'll make it down there before I run out, so... Grab a fresh core here. We'll just use this one until it's gone completely. I'm not gonna try to take it back and sell it or anything. So yeah, we're just going to beeline for, um, not Warwick. I keep saying Warwick Homestead, not Warwick. Um, the other place. Adam Cat's Garage, yeah. Going to beeline for over there. Already got this fusion core, yep. I don't know that I went upstairs over there yet, but it's not that important. I'd rather just focus on getting down here. So, the main problem with this uh, area is that there are... We're going to go right through Quincy. And Quincy is uh, real, real, real scary. It is pronounced Quincy, by the way. Like, it has a Z, even though it ha doesn't have a Z. It has a, uh, a C. You would think it's pronounced Quincy, but it's not. It's Quincy. Don't yell at me, that's just how that's just how they say it, okay? So give us some time to heal back up after that little mishap over there. Um, really hope I don't break my legs, but you know, if I do, it's it is what it is. Hopefully we're getting new power armor in a little bit here. Jamaica Plains is over here as well. Um, I'm going to quick save too because Jamaica Plains had a bad habit of giving you the settlement once you clear out the ghouls over there. Like you just get it automatically. And that is really bad. We don't want to have any settlements, obviously. I'm not, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I, I forget what all they changed as far as the requirements for Lone Wanderer and how it works now. It's a bit different than it used to be. Um, because they they changed it, then they changed it again, then they patched the change, and I, I don't even know anymore exactly how it works. So, I'm just gonna try to stay the hell away from uh, Jamaica Plains. I'll clear out a couple ghouls over there and try to loot it, but then I'm gonna try to leave a couple ghouls alive over there so that technically, um, I won't be... I won't have it as a settlement, is the hope. I think the one that's really bad about that is, uh... There's a sea-based one, the marina, uh, which is in the southwest. A bear? That is a big old scary bear. Might be worth using some chems here for the extra damage. That's quite a lot. Only minus one sanity for that. Hmm. All right. Trying to be stealth. Oh, you're, you're killing um, crabs? Okay. I think he's done now. Scared me. Oh, it's a muck crab. Was well, like, what's still coming at me? Man, that took some killing. I'm gonna blow these bastards up if I can. Screw you guys. Didn't even blow up the eggs. Look at that. Molotovs are actually really great for killing these guys. I just don't really carry Molotovs typically.
I know I said we're beelining it, but like I can make some small nice. stops along the way as well. What's this have in it? Uh, this this is Charles Dieter Jr. I think this is pre-war. Yeah, this is pre-war stuff. Maybe not, though. I mean, there's is there like an entire book here? How much is uh, each chapter? Oh. Okay. Oh, thanks. Thanks a bunch for that. And that, that pisses me off beyond belief that like, when I'm swinging at this, this thing is what gets hit and it doesn't follow through and hit this guy. It's so annoying. My god, that's a lot of rads. Okay. It's enough complaining for one day. I wonder if I could just, uh, walk across over here. This is pretty shallow. That would be really preferable. Yeah, I think I can. It's kind of deep right here. I might take some rads, but I think it's worth... I think it's worth it to go around. This isn't too bad. Yeah, got across without taking any rads at all. Oh. Uh, as I was saying, I think it's worth it to go around Quincy because the survivors there are really scary. I missed twice? My god. My god, Wanderer, what are you doing with your life? Didn't zoom in. Wasting lots of ammo today. Off to a great start. Isn't there normally a Mr. Gutsy in here or something? Maybe these guys killed him. Whoa. A lot of stuff in that little container. I guess I do have, like, maxed out perks for finding stuff in containers now, so... It does make sense. All right, three, three nine shots is still enough to take out the guys at the Adam Cast Garage. There are a lot of them. There's quite a few of them. Okay, nothing here. All right. There is also a Mr. Gutsy over here, I believe, or some type of Gutsy. In the past, I've used that Mr. Gutsy, like I've aggroed him and then run into the Red Rocket and kill people that way. It's a good way of doing it, but, um, I don't know. This place is crazy, like, you go over here and it's like there's nobody here, but then you get in and uh, suddenly there's like a million people over here. Don't 
think I won't hurt you. I'm gonna actually beeline it. Oh, did they get rid of it? It was right here. Did they did they despawn it? That's just fucking mean. There is a fusion core here, which is nice. Okay, that was really bad quick scoping, I'm sorry. Just one day I'd like to not get oh. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> did, he, did he have 300 rounds? Oh my god. Why did he have 300 rounds? 300 rounds. Holy shit. 52 rounds. These guys are loaded. All right, I mean, I guess it's worth coming over here just for that. So 105.56 rounds. Jeez. Yeah. Where'd you go? They're not very well armored, though, so, I mean... You found me. I think that's it, guys. Yeah, that's a real bummer. They disabled the power armor. What a bunch of killjoys, man. It's not like it's easy to get. I mean, you can't just walk, like, you can't just waltz in here and take it. Pretty difficult, actually. This thing's not that good. This thing's crap, too. Nothing ever on this thing, either. Do a lot of good loot here. Huh, I can't open this. Just a couple bottles in there, done a big deal. Just weird I can't open it. The fusion core alone would have been worth me coming down here. Oh, there's more up there. I didn't even go on the other side over there. Oops. Doesn't actually hit you, though. Huh. Alright. Let's 
so many bodies. Keep my eye out for traps. I don't see any around here. I don't think there are, but... Yeah, it's a big sad. Big, big sad. No T60 power armor for me. Just gotta find it randomly, I guess. Which is kind of crap, because, like, you might not find it. Like, you don't know. You could just always spawn his T45 and just never get any good power armor. Which seems, uh... I don't know, seems kind of crappy, kind of unfair. Where's the guy I killed over here? It was like, yeah, right over here. Did I get this guy already? Yeah, I already looted him, I guess. Nothing good on him. There is an armor workbench here, though. I wonder if I could scrounge together the stuff to actually repair my armor. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, there is a, well, no, it's just an empty set, yeah. Rest in peace. Unarmed Hell bobblehead. Yeah. Wooden soldier toy. Hell yeah. That's a companion item, right? Technically, I think this would be a pretty good spot as well for a base, because I'm pretty sure there's everything here. Just all very spread out. All right, um, I need like aluminum and stuff to repair the armor. Let's see if I can do it here. I very much doubt that I have enough stuff to do it, but I'll, I'll try. If I could at least prepare the legs, it'd be nice. Um, I guess I can, okay. Need oil, okay, I just need oil and I can, I can do it. All right. If, if I can repair the, the legs at the very least, that'd be really great. Just need to find, like, one oil, which, that's not too hard to find. In fact, I'm almost positive I saw some, uh, like, grab literally everything I see now. And dump it into there. And I'll take what I want whenever I leave with me. Try to make repairs while I'm here. Sounds like a good plan. What I was going to say was I'm almost sure I saw some uh, gas cans around which should have some oil in them and then we can use those and we'll be all set. Have our legs repaired at the very least. I can find some more steel and aluminum and stuff. I can probably do the arms too. Haven't checked up top yet over here either. can't believe that guy had 300 rounds of 5 mil on him. That's crazy. I think maybe he was picking up the ammo from other people, though, like, as he was going, you know? He was like, oh, my buddy just died. Well, I guess I'll, get, I'll take his stuff, too. Look, somebody else died. I guess, I guess I'll get his stuff, too. Just gathering everything for me, you know? Yeah, so there's a cooking bench there. Weapons and armor over here. Um, in the other area. Could scrap those, too, for some steel and stuff. In the other area, um, 
There's a power armor, workbench, and the garage itself. You'd think there'd be some gas around here somewhere. Or an oil can or something, you know? No luck was hoping for an oil can there, but no luck. Hmm, I'm not seeing anything. Not seeing any oil, unfortunately. Yeah, I think that's it. Mr. Gutsy is over this way. I don't know if I really want to tangle with him, to be honest. Yeah, he's, he's over here. There's a military barge over here. It's going to be pretty tough to kill. It's so hard to line up a shot on his, uh, his eyes. If he walks back in the center, I'll toss a grenade out there. Didn't hit him. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all, actually. No oil there either. Okay, loot over here, just, you know, nothing crazy. Certainly wouldn't go out of my way to kill that guy for his loot. Unless, you know, I had already a pretty powerful character that wasn't really at risk. There's Quincy, but I really don't have the ammo for it. Or, yeah, my, one of my legs is almost broken. There's also mines everywhere over there. It's just a bad time in Quincy, man. I think I'll make my way... Uh, actually, I want to get a bunch of stuff out of the the, um, the workbench over here. Yeah, I think I'll go back here and get the stuff that I want out of the workbench, and then just make my way back. And if I have any room left, then I'll try to loot stuff on the way back up. We did get a ton of 5 mil rounds, which I guess I'll just kind of stockpile that for now. I can always use it with a minigun. The minigun actually does better damage, I think, per shot with it than the uh, other weapon. The submachine gun. Which is kind of weird, actually. Doesn't really make any sense. I don't know. 
Maybe it does. I'm not gonna complain, like, uh, having a heavy weapon that actually does good damage is really rare, so... Certainly not complaining at all. Take all this loose stuff, it's all pretty easy to carry. I do need the rubber on those pretty badly. Uh, I don't need this for anything. I'll just drop it for now, and I'll take all the other stuff in here, I think. That's probably fine. Is this open? I guess not. There's a button on the other red rocket truck stop, or, you know, the main one by, uh... by Concord slash Sanctuary. And you can open it up, but not this one, I guess. Should do some alcohol, too. We got 13 beers out of that, guys. 13 beers. Did I kill 13 people? I don't think I killed 13. I think it was more like, uh, maybe 10 or so. So, uh, yeah. I think that was net positive on Sandy, probably. Even though I murdered a whole bunch of people there. I think I probably got back more than I spent over there. Kind of crazy. So yeah, Quincy is nuts. Um, I might loot this one guy over here. He's like right here, but that's going to be about it. Plasma mine, yeah. Yeah. Walter Edmonds Journal. My sister was always a whining bitch. When the bombs came, she wouldn't shut up, always talking about going back to the way things were. Can't you realize there is no going back? There's only forward. You should have known, Lydia. God damn it, you should have known. Damn it, Lydia. Huh, my depth of field's not on, but it's still, like, really blurred. I guess it's just foggy over there. Hunters. Hunters are, um... Not too bad. Machine gun turret. Oh, this is... I know where this is at. I don't really want to get in the fight over here right now with these guys. Um, I just don't have the ammo for it. Otherwise, it'd be fine, but yeah, I just don't have the ammo for it. Who killed you? Really? 50 cal sniper rifle, cabin key, last entry. October 23rd, 2077. Might as well finish this journal, huh? Certainly couldn't finish the book, not with all those this goddamned racket. Hammering all day and night, let's see how well you all hammer with the bullets in your head, huh? Rotten hell, you bastards, and you can join them, Carol. This is the guy that was writing the book over at Neponset Park or whatever. Um, I don't want this, but I do kind of want this. I'm not sure if I have a 50 caliber hunting rifle back at the base. Maybe I do, but... Be nice to have one if I don't. Really, you took three shots. Three shots of 7.62 to kill. Tough bastard. That was just a random patrol, I think. Ooh, well. Giving me some extra ammo there, eh? Thank you very much. Light, long-covered sniper barrel. This is the 
best barrel, I think. I'm going to make an effort to take this back if I can. Uh, let's see. 221 range versus 203, huh? Thought long cover sniper barrel would be better. Maybe not, though. I don't know. Got some more ammo, though. That's cool. Oof, we are actually... I can actually bind my alcohol for once. So I have so much of it. I could just drink it all real fast. Thanks. Thanks so much for that, Barnacle. I really appreciate it. That is Jamaica Plains, I think. Over there. Again, I'm going to give that a bit of a wide berth so I don't end up accidentally gaining ownership of it and then being very sad because I won't be able to take Lone Wanderer. If I do go over there, I'll, I'll probably save beforehand and just make sure that I have a backup. Your rads here and just a crappy pipe rifle. I just want to see what it is. Nah, not worth. Not even worth. Not even worth a couple of rads I took there. I do have more time to kind of explore the university here, though. Didn't go upstairs here at all. Let's see. That's an empty sugar bombs box. Oh, it's empty. I don't really need that, I guess, then. Uh, three lead, three acid. This is really heavy. For what it is, you know. Probably don't need those. That's better. Short double barreled shotgun. A pass on that. All this money I'm finding, by the way, I'm pretty sure a lot of it is because of that perk that I, I find more money in containers. Like, you just find more random money, and it really adds up really quick, so. Definitely is worth taking that perk. Though, like, how much you need money in the late game is kind of debatable, right? You sort of end up with a lot that you really can't even make use of later. Yeah, I didn't explore the, um... I think explore the upper areas of some of this place very well. So I'll look around better here and see what I can find. So I have to remember there's a mine around here somewhere, though I shouldn't say it off. It seems like... Oh, can I even get up here? Oh no, I just hit my head on something and fell down. It seems like I don't set them off anymore, basically, which is great. Ooh, 
Whoa, 32, 7.62 rounds. Hell yeah. There's some oil. It's gonna be too heavy though. But if I take all this stuff back, I can repair my power armor back there, at least the the leg, and then I'll be in pretty good shape. There's some other good junk I want here, too. That alarm clock and this clipboard. Oh, typewriter. I do need a typewriter. I don't need this that badly. Do that. That'll work. I'd like the camera too, but I just don't think I'll have room for it, so... I think it's around here somewhere is where that mine is at. Like down the stairs or something. There it is. Good old IED. So yeah, I shouldn't set this off. Like, I should not... Yeah, I don't. I don't set it off. Good. So it was armed, though. And I was able to disarm it. That advice is... Uh, Pre-war stuff about the... Um, pretty sure it relates to the... Ooh, bunch of beer. Nice. Relates to the unlimited potential. Ooh, more, even more alcohol. I don't know, I may, end, I may end up just chucking a bunch of alcohol to get the carry weight down and then fill these bottles with water and then craft them into boiled water to, care, to get some carry weight back. Sweet. Pretty nice loot there too. Even more booze, okay. Yeah, we're pretty far over on the carry weight. My hungry? We are hungry. We can have some more uh, crab meat. That'll give me some more weight. Um, let's do like one of each of these. Then we're going to be thirsty. Which is fine. then we should probably go and uh, fill up some water and then cook it up over here. I think I can just go over here. Looks like, yeah, there's some water right here. Cool. That's what I'll do then. Only got six. It's not very much, actually. The whisk is what's really keeping me going as far as uh, being able to carry stuff. Where was that cooking bench at? Right over here, yeah. Okay. Hop out and cook this up real quick, and then uh, we'll be in better shape. Not great shape, but we'll be, able to, we'll be able to get back home at least, so that's fine. Oh, I do have a filter too. I guess I should use those up too. Those, those have a good amount of weight to them. Hey, you level up to... Crab meat will help out a lot too, there we go. Okay, that put stuff in here. Did, okay. I could even sleep here for the night if it gets late, I mean... I don't have to go back in the dark. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty late. I could just sleep here for the night. And uh, go back up in the morning. Pretty sure there's a nice bed up, up in here. Yeah, right here is a nice bed. Alright, I think I'll do that, guys. I think we'll just sleep here for the night. And then we'll head back in the morning. 
But in any case, um, that we're off already, really. Yeah, whatever. In any case, guys, um, I am going to end the episode here. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.